My name is Henry Hoffman. I am the co-founder of Sabo, and I'm excited to be here at the Science Museum in London for the brand new opening of the Medicines Gallery exhibit, which is the future home of the SaboFlex. It's such an honor to have the SaboFlex, our very first neurological rehab device, on permanent public display alongside other medical breakthrough products spanning 500 years in several continents, ranging from the first stethoscope to the first MRI scanner to penicillin to generation one surgical instruments. It's a remarkable achievement. After many, many years of working with Sabo, it's a pleasure to have the Sabo Flex here for everybody to see. I would like to thank all the people who tirelessly worked to make this first floor medicines gallery exhibit take place. It's magnificent. Prior to the Sableflex, many stroke survivors were told that they plateaued or that no further progress can be made. They were basically living a one-handed life. With our device, thousands of patients have improved more arm and hand function and went on to live a better life. When we first created the Sableflex, we've also created a slogan, no plateau in sight, because that signifies a stroke survivor's journey. Research shows that stroke survivors can make more progress many years after their injury if they have the right tools and the right treatment interventions. And we feel like we got that covered with the SaboFlex. So it's been exciting in my role to watch Sabo develop um, and progress from the SaboFlex to bringing out a more lightweight version, the Sabo Glove, progressing into electrical stimulation, de-weighting devices, and becoming a fairly established um, brand of technology for neurological rehab in the UK. I was working as a neurophysiotherapist and a stroke survivor came to me and asked how can I get to use my hand. His hand was like a fist. So we saw uh, an advert on the internet for the SaboFlex and I contacted the American company and it was two occupational therapists. So when we started Sabo, not too long after we had a stroke survivor from the United Kingdom contact us along with a physiotherapist so I flew over to America, I'd never been to America before. Who was very interested in using the SaboFlex to help get his hand back. And we learned how to build a SaboFlex on a kitchen table and the rest is history really. Many years later, it's amazing to see our device here at the prestigious Science Museum on permanent public display. It's truly a remarkable moment.